What's going on guys, it's Asal and today I'm going to be telling you how you can start your very own YouTube channel, specifically a gaming channel. We're going to be talking about what you need to start in both the attitude department as well as what kind of equipment you're going to need. And no, I'm not going to tell you to break the bank in this video. Don't worry about that. We're going to be talking about how to record your gameplay, be that on the PC or a console, as well as some tips on actually recording your commentary and editing your very first video. And finally, we'll be talking about how you can start to gain and attract yourself your very own audience. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about the right attitude. Why do you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, if you're doing it for the money, I'll tell you right now, that's not the right reason. You want to be doing it for you. You want to be doing it for fun. You don't want to be doing it for the numbers, the money, the views, the subscribers. Those things are all awesome, but they should not be the main point of anyone's YouTube channel unless, of course, you get quite big and you want to make it your full-time job. But first and foremost, this should be something that you're doing for fun. You need to realize that gaining a large following is not something that happens overnight. When you see a really big channel with a lot of views and a lot of subscribers, that represents a lot of hard work and a lot of time put into that video. Sometimes you'll feel like you're going nowhere when you're making videos. You'll feel like no one's watching, you're not going anywhere, but that's when you just need to kind of tough it out, make another video, and persevere because hard work really does pay off if you put in the time. Now let's get into the hardware. What kind of equipment do you need to get started on YouTube? Well, you're gonna need a microphone, a way to record your gameplay, and a computer to edit and upload your videos. Now, you wanna aim for HD videos, at least 720p. A 1080p is ideal, but not everyone's gonna be able to get there right away. Now, if you're on the PC, and you happen to have an NVIDIA card that supports shadow play, by all means use that to record your videos. That's what I use. I find it is one of the best options for recording your videos without taking any significant hit to your gameplay. DX Story is also great, though you have to pay for that program. Fraps I've heard is also great, but again, you have to pay for that program as well. Now, OBS is a great free software. Most people use it for live streaming, but you can also use it to record your videos locally on your computer. I'm not sure exactly how to use it for that purpose, but I know lots of people do do that and you can download all these programs just from the links in the description I will supply all of those and as far as actually using OBS There's a lot of great guides out there on how to set it up properly now If you're on the console, this is where you might need to actually spend some money This is the only place where you really need to spend money I'm not telling you to break the bank, but if you don't have a capture card You really can't record your console gameplay now I have used both Elgato capture cards and Avermedia capture cards and they've both worked great for me and I'll actually put some links in the description for these products as well. Now if you do have an Xbox One by chance and Windows 10, I know you can actually stream your gameplay to Windows 10 and then you could use a screen capture there. Now that probably wouldn't look as nice but it would be free. When you're first starting out, you don't need to worry about everything being the best. Free is great. You don't want to start really investing a lot of money until you've kind of gained some momentum and you know that YouTube is something that you might want to actually pursue. Now, how to make yourself sound beautiful, your microphone. Do you need something absolutely unreal to start on YouTube? No, absolutely not. Just start with your webcam microphone or your headset microphone, or if you don't have any of that, just go and buy an inexpensive desktop microphone for around $15. I'll leave a link in the description to a product just like that. The money you spend on all of your equipment should match your commitment to YouTube. You don't want to be spending a lot of money if you don't even know if you want to make YouTube videos. You know, just get by with the bare essentials and if you realize hey I might want to actually pursue this that's when you can start spending some money I didn't start out with all the best gear right away go watch my first video it's not that great I didn't spend any money on that so don't break the bank until you know that you actually want to be pursuing YouTube somewhat seriously now how do we actually record our voice when we make videos well I use a program called audacity this is a free program and it works absolutely great for recording videos and I'll leave a link to this program down in the description it's easy to use and it provides all the tools you need Need to have great sounding audio. Now when I record my videos I like to open up a notepad and write a few notes just point form to keep me on track so my videos have some flow. This is just me. You have to kind of experiment with this as to find what works best for you. Whether or not you edit the audio in your video is entirely up to you. When you first start you don't have to do this at all but as you get going you might want to edit your video a little bit, tighten up the gaps, add some equalization, make things sound great. If you want some tips on having your audio sound the way I have mine sound, check out the card in the top right description 
of this video. But once you've recorded all of your audio, just hit export and then you're good to go. When it comes to actually editing your videos, you have a few options. I personally use Adobe Premiere, though Sony Vegas is another great option and that's the program I first started out with. So what I'd recommend is go download the trial of either one of these pieces of software, try it out and see which one you like best. Again, I will leave links to both of these programs in the video description. Now when it comes to throwing your videos together, start simple. Don't overcomplicate things, especially if this is your first time using video editing software. Just drag your gameplay in there and then drag your commentary in there. Don't overcomplicate this. Just export your video and then you're good to go. Once you get going and you watch your video, you can get some ideas as to what you want to do and then you can implement those later on. This is a learning experience. You're not going to have everything just perfect the first time. Just keep it simple. Get your gameplay, get your commentary, and then export your your video and then you can learn from there. In regards to exporting your video, again there are a lot of great guides out there for getting the best export settings for your video to have it look the best it possibly can when you finally do upload it to YouTube. And last but not least, attracting an audience. This is really important because if you have no audience, making videos isn't all that fun. You want people to be watching your videos. Now this is about creating a gaming channel. So first thing you need to do is to pick a game or a genre that you want to focus on and stick with that. For example, uploading Call of Duty one day and Clash of Clans the next and just being all over the place isn't consistent and that won't help you grow your audience. You want to be consistent. Now for me, I like to upload first person shooters. Lately, I've been kind of all over the place, different shooters, but mostly it's been Battlefield. That game is just kind of dying out a little bit, so I'm kind of trying out some other shooters, but for the most part, my goal is to upload shooter content. Another example could be Minecraft videos, it could be MMOs, or games like Dota or League of Legends, or it could just be you upload funny or trolling videos. Whatever works best for you. You want to know your audience and you want to produce for them. You don't want to upload a gaming video one day and then how to bake the best cookies the next day. You want to be consistent. A great question to ask yourself when you're making a video is would I personally watch this video? Would I click on this if I saw it on YouTube? If not, ask yourself why and then you can learn from there. And then you do upload your video. You want to make sure that you're adding a descriptive title, an engaging title, relevant tags, and a custom thumbnail. The custom thumbnail I think is really important because I rarely ever will click on a video without a custom thumbnail because it just looks to me like the person who uploaded this video didn't put effort into this video, like the person next to them who is this nice flashy thumbnail. I would much rather go there because they've probably put a little more time and quality effort into their video. Now I've thrown a lot of information at you, but let's just sum things up. You want to have fun. This is not a job, it's a hobby which you should enjoy. And don't break the bank when you're making videos. If you just get started, just go with whatever you have. If you enjoy it, later on you can spend some money and get some more quality gear and equipment. And you won't always get the views when you're making videos, especially when you first start out. And it might be frustrating, you're like, oh I only have 13 views on my video. But hard work pays off. Quality work will have a following no matter what. So just persevere, stick to it and you'll get there, I promise. If this video has been helpful to you, I would really appreciate a like on this video. And if you wanna see more helpful videos, just like this one to get you on your way, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Everyone, this has been Asal, and I will see you guys next time.